Am I the asshole? For taking my kids and leaving an in-laws plan gathering a day early because of drama? My immediate family spouse two kids and I are geographically separated from our extended family. They all live in one state about 12 hours north of us. All of our kids are close in age and we all want the cousins them to have a good relationship so we make attempts to see each other as often as we can, but most times it's only one two x a year. My in-laws planned a large gathering where we all met halfway to spend a long weekend together w all the siblings and cousins. It was a large group of about five families about 21 of us in total. My spouse and I have been dealing with our own marital conflicts due to emotional labor and lack of equitable distribution of tasks. My in-laws see the good things my spouse does and praise them for being a great parent for doing the bare minimum. The second to last day of our four-day trip, my spouse and I ended up having a mild argument where I snapped rather harshly about my frustration with their lack of foresight when it came to planning they were supposed to pack diapers and didn't pack enough, and they forgot a change of clothes for our children. One child had a blowout and didn't have diapers, and the other peed their pants and had to wear urine-soaked clothing as we walked around town I'll get that stuff happens and I apologized to my spouse for losing my temper. This is a common theme where if I don't do all of the planning, something is inevitable forgotten or goes wrong. My spouse and I are working through this. After all was said done, we went back to the R accommodations I was confronted by both my mill sill separately for my failure to acknowledge the things my spouse does right and only seeing the negative. They didn't like how I addressed them bc my spouse was embarrassed for being called out. This also came from my spouse venting to their mother about situation. My spouse is a much more carefree laid back person, which tends to make them easy to empathize with, which results in me being villainized for being the adult. I felt backed into a corner and attacked. I've never had conflict with my in-laws and it made me extremely uncomfortable. Emotions were heightened and I made the choice to pack my things immediately and we left and drove six hours back to our house in the middle of the night bc I felt like I didn't want to wake up and have to deal with the awkward aftermath. I feel like it wasn't appropriate for my in-laws to take sides or involve themselves in the situation. But I feel like my choice to leave is going to have lasting impacts on our relationships and tbh I don't know I'm willing to accept any more invitations from them until the air is cleared. Am I the asshole? For not making an effort to talk things through with my in-laws before making the decision to leave? Not the asshole. It gets exhausting having to parent your kids and also parent your incompetent spouse. If his family wants to praise him for the bare minimum, he can go be half a partner to them or they can mind their business. Your in-laws aren't the ones constantly having to pick up the slack for his screw-ups so their opinions don't matter. Not the asshole, your partner playing incompetent only for his sister and mommy to come rushing to say what a special little man he is, is pathetic. Next time he can take the trip on his own, and take care of the kids on his own. Not the asshole. How would your spouse have felt if you had called your mom and told her that they forgot to check the diaper bag and then your mom later called them and and chewed their ass for their incompetence? Their mom and sister do not need to participate in your relationship. No one has a right to insert themselves into someone else's marriage the exception being in cases of abuse. Not the asshole. That's weaponized incompetence they do it so badly that you ail take on all future planning and packing. I take my hat off to you for not unloading on spouse's parents the real situation, since spouse decided it was a good idea to involve their parents in your disagreement. Not the asshole. Respectfully, this is neither of your places to give opinions about my marriage. You are not part of it, don't have any background context to feed into it and this conversation is both unwelcome and uncomfortable. For the sake of enjoying the rest of this trip, let's move on. They overstepped boundaries and don't see your spouse for the underperformer that they are. Not the asshole. My favorite line for Mill when she started on the parenting criticism. I live with one you raised, and he still needs a lot of work. 
The R is your partner and their inability to be responsible and then running to mommy when called out. It amazes me that the same people who manage highly complex issues and requirements at work suddenly lose all their sense when it comes to taking care of their families. Not the asshole. Not the asshole sounds like hubby has a bit of the Peter Pan syndrome. Probably engendered by Mill Sill covering for him. Choices. If he will not do things you will have to pick up that slack BC the kids and their needs come first above all. You're not doing it for him. But this will build on your psyche. Second choice hire someone to come in 1x 2x a month to help clean the house giving you help where you truly need it. Tell him that if he doesn't help work he can help with the expense. His choice. You will be amazed at how just delegating out some of the work will help you. BTWIMM71 Not the asshole. Your in-laws were out of line and should not have bullied you. Of course they are going to biased, especially as they do not deal with this every single day. Not the asshole. And his family needs to learn their place. Them confronting you about something they know nothing about would have gotten them both checked. Not the asshole. It was the only way to break the power dynamic they were abusing. It was not appropriate for your in-laws to insert themselves into the situation. You had no obligation to discuss it with them or explain yourself. They were basically ganging up on you. Not the asshole you are right. It was inappropriate for your in-laws to take size or involve themselves in the situation. Not when they know half the story. And I don't blame you for leaving because yet would be awkward and it sound like you didn't have any of the stuff you needed anyway. It sounds like your spouse is participating in weaponized incompetence. Sadly, I know with my in-laws if there's any conflict between me and my spouse, I know whose side they are on. And they've shown that to you. Not the asshole. Where are you supposed to stay another tonight with your poor kid covered in pee? Forgetting clothing for your kids is idiotic. Like I get misjudging the number of diapers or forgetting socks or one thing but, no clothes at all for the kids? He didn't even try. Your husband needs to take care of this immediately. He needs to explain to his family that he sticks you with too much of the burden of your lives, so it was natural for you to feel attacked and uncomfortable. He needs to tell them that you do appreciate the good things he does, but that he's not as good of a partner to you as you are to him so for them to call you out was the height of unfairness. Not the asshole. I'm glad you love each other and you're doing what you can to make it work. As the planner of the family, I understand your frustration. Not the asshole though. Your in-laws had no right to interfere in your relationship. Furthermore, the aggressive nature of the confrontation would have also caused me to leave. Their confrontation impacted your relationship, not you leaving. This is all their fault. Time for some good boundaries. Not the asshole but why didn't your husband defend you? That's the real question with this one. Your spouse is betting on you packing the diapers and kids clothes next time, yuck. Not the asshole. Op is a married single mother. I just learned this term and it is so sad. Not the asshole it was completely inappropriate for your spouse's parents to involve themselves in a marital situation that wasn't their own. You did the correct thing in a situation where no winners are to be had. The morning after would have been uncomfortable for someone you, your in-laws, or your spouse. However, you avoided this situation. You did cause another one. But I am okay with this. You smacked your in-laws on the nose for putting that nose where it didn't belong. I hope they think long and hard before involving themselves in their adult children's marital relationships. Your spouse, on the other hand, man. Not the asshole. Your in-laws made you feel so unwelcome by their tirade that you were pushed to leave the situation. The onus is on them for making you feel that uncomfortable, not on you for removing yourself and your children from a hostile situation to a place of safety. I would explain to them you both work full-time jobs and bring in about the same income yet you do a majority of the housework and childcare so if they want to involve themselves into something that does not concern them they should talk to hubby. Not the asshole your husband invited them into your marriage, 